For British fans, the sidecar race was something special too. Rob Phelan, the Swiss star, had won all previous rounds. But the reigning champion, Steve Webster, had won at Donington in 1987. Could he do it again? The front row of the grid, Billand, Webster, Egloff. Billand away well, but Stroyer quick off the mark too, and it's the Dutchman Egbert Stroyer side by side with Billand as they go into Redgate, and Billand just leans across Stroyer. Stroyer fighting the outfit to control it. Webster third, then Jones, Michel, and that's the Zerbrug brothers. They've been forced off the track after a bit of bumping and barging, but they're back in action again. Billand. Stroyer, Webster, Jones, Michel. There's uh, Marcus Egloff down in seventh place. Billand. Behind him, it's Stroyer, Webster, Jones, Michel, Stropek, Steinhausen under threat from Egloff, and Thea Van Kampen in ninth spot. The end of lap one, Billand that still leads, but Stroyer, Webster and Jones still there, right behind him. Into Redgate, Billand at the head of a four-outfit convoy. Michel is fifth. Rolf Steinhausen and the rest of them going through. And it's still Billand from Stroyer and Webster. Derek Jones losing ground. McLean's the first three nose to tail. Round coppice. Derek Jones a good fourth. Michelle fifth. Then Steinhausen. Tia Van Kempen and the Egglocks. And Stroyer leads. Billand is pushed back to second place. And Webster poised in third spot. The British crew being urged on by their fans in this 75,000 strong crowd. Jones still four. Egbert Stroyer, champion in 84, 85 and 86, leads Billand and Webster, but it's a three-outfit race. And the crowd really beginning to get behind Steve Webster now. Second place, Stroyer still in front, Billand back to third. It's Stroyer, Webster, Billand, Jones fourth. leads, an Englishman is second, a Swiss is third, the three best sidecar racers in the world over the past six years or so, leading the British Grand Prix. And Webster has closed the gap on Egbert Stroyer, but Billand is right with him too. Stroyer leads, Webster in the slipstream, and Webster pulls out. He's going for the inside line, and Steve Webster snatches the lead at Redgate. Down the hill, and it's still Webster. Steve Webster leads the reigning world champion underneath Starkey's bridge, and the fans go wild. Stroyer second, Billand in third place, round coppice and the British crew still in front.
to Redgate, nothing in it. Tony Webster in the chair with Steve Webster working hard to keep the British crew in command. Alan Michel, Marcus Egbo flash by their fourth and fifth and Derek Jones now dropped back in sixth place ahead of Masada Kamano and Rolf Steinhausen. Webster, Stroyer and Billund the race order. And Marcus and Urs Egloff now up ahead of Alan Michel and Jean-Marc Fresque. Then it's Derek Jones with Peter Brown in the chair. Behind him, Masato Kamano and Marcus Farney. Webster still holding off his rivals. And Billand makes another attack on Stroyer. And Billand is up into second place. He's gone ahead of the Dutchman. Steve Webster leads past the pits. Rob Billand is threatening Steve Webster. But the British pair still stay out in front. It's Webster, Billand, Stroyer, out of coppice, down the back straight. And Billand lining up an attack. 16 laps gone, and Rolf Billand leads again. And Steve Webster inspired by the crowd. But Billand's lead not for long. Webster much quicker on the run downhill from Hollywood to the old hairpin, regains the advantage. And despite Billand's effort, he stays there. Steve Webster with Tony Hewitt in the chair leads Rolf Billand and Kurt Waltisberg. Storia's in trouble, he's been passed by Alan Michel now and the Egglocks are breathing down his neck. And Steve Webster is stretching the advantage over Rolf Billand. The crowd right behind him, driving him on. in third place. Marcus Egloff is in fourth position. And Stroyer struggling. This is the last lap. And Webster slides the silkily sewered trouser powered outfit round coppice. Billand forced to chase. The chequered flag is out. Steve Webster has won. He's beaten Rob Billand at the British Grand Prix for the second year in a row. Michel is third. Egloff is fourth. Stroyer is fifth. But though the fans and Webster and Hewitt celebrate at winning this battle, it's Billand and Weltisberg who are winning the war. For the moment,